President Trump announced travel restrictions to Cuba, saying the country was contributing to the repression of people in Venezuela. Jennifer Bellamy is following the story. Jennifer, this has thrown a wrench into a lot of people's summer vacation plans. It really has, Cheryl. The president put an end to all cruise travel as well as person-to-person -person educational visas. Those are the two main ways that people were heading to Cuba. Now, President Obama loosened the travel restrictions in 2016. It was the first time in decades many families had been able to get together and see one another. But it also opened up the Cuban economy to some much-needed tourist dollars. But yesterday's announcement is making travelers scramble, including one of 11 Lives' own staffers who was supposed to hit Key West and then Havana for his father's wedding trip. Our whole itinerary got changed. We're not even going to Key West now, which is the whole reason the trip was so that we could see my dad get married on the beach and a lot of families coming and we're not really sure what we're going to do now. Carnival, Royal Caribbean and Norwegian Cruise Lines have announced they are changing itineraries immediately. So here are your options if you're a Carnival customer. Stay on your cruise and get a $100 credit to spend on the ship. Change cruises and get a $50 credit or just cancel it and get a refund, a full refund that is. Other cruise lines haven't said what, if anything, they are offering their customers. Now you can still get to Cuba on a commercial flight. Those are not restricted just yet.